Vice President Kamala Harris expected in Charlotte tomorrow, one year since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The vice president scheduled to give a speech rallying reproductive rights advocates. That is North Carolina lawmakers rolled out some surprise changes to the state's new abortion regulations. The tweaks come as the judge weighs blocking key parts of the law while a federal lawsuit runs its course. Wake Up Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard joins us now live this morning. And Tradisha, this law is set to go into effect in just about nine days. That's right, Ben. And with such short time, that has a lot of Democrats questioning transparency with the last minute changes, saying this could be an attempt to hinder the lawsuit filed by Planned Parenthood. North Carolina lawmakers rolled out some surprise changes to the state's new abortion regulations, which is set to go into effect July 1st. One of the changes deletes language from the original bill that seemed to limit drug-induced abortions to the first 10 weeks of pregnancy instead of 12 weeks, which generally is the cutoff for abortions throughout the rest of the bill. While some Republican lawmakers say the changes were made to clarify the state's new abortion law before going into effect, some Democrats say it looks like an attempt to short-circuit the lawsuit filed by Planned Parenthood. All of this comes as Vice President Kamala Harris is expected in Charlotte tomorrow, marking the one year since the Supreme Court reversed its previous ruling on Roe v. Wade. And right now, there's no set time or location on where that speech will be given by Kamala. But of course, once we get the information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. Reporting live for Wake Up Charlotte, I'm Tradisha Woodard.